We have all of your Tesla stock breaking news today, and some of this will surprise you. Tesla has filed four new trademark uh, applications for four different pieces of candy. The official candy names in the filings are Supercharged Gummies, Cyber Berry, Mango Bolt, and Dog Mode Chill. Elon Musk responded and says, seriously, big candy is suppressing R&D. When's the last time you heard of a great new candy bar? I think we just should accept the fact at some point Tesla is going to turn into more of a holding company than anything with many different businesses that do many different things. But as a candy fan myself, we'll have to give it a try. Seriously, though, this is not going to move the needle for Tesla. Tesla is up about 1% today, give or take, at the time of recording this video, partially because of this news. Tesla's insured units last week came in at 11,400, which is a really good number. Last year, during the same week, you had 10,000 registrations, so that's a year-over-year -year increase. And in 2022, you only had 424, so that's a massive increase increase compared to 2022 so it looks like q3 is starting off on a strong note and i think this is probably helping tesla as well today this individual on x responded to holmar's catalog and says that elon is supporting people who want to take away tesla's subsidies and give them to gas cars instead this was following now the vice president to trump if he gets elected saying that we should get rid of electric vehicle tax credits and give them to gas vehicles instead elon musk just responded and said take away the subsidies it will only help tesla also remove subsidies from all industries and i think a lot of people in the markets are like wow how would that help tesla you know elon saying that the guy that knows best forget the analyst forget me forget everyone else you think knows about tesla if elon says it I mean, that's it. And if Elon's saying getting rid of subsidies, the $7,500 tax credit may actually help Tesla. I mean, what's there not to like here? We also had some good news on the state of the economy, at least from retail sales this morning. Retail sales month over month came in at 0%. We were expecting that. But last month was revised from 0.1% up to 0.2% three percent so that's a better than expected number if you include that revision a lot of wall street is paying attention to resale sales excluding autos that came in at positive 0.4 percent when the consensus was only a 0.1 percent increase so yes that's not the the end all be all for the economy right but it is showing that maybe things are not as bad or weakening as fast as some people thought. Now, obviously, this is just the initial number. So next month, the revision will probably take it down quite a bit. So it's probably not as strong as we think. But markets react to the headline first and not the revisions. We do have a new Atlanta Fed GDP now estimate that went from 2% yesterday to two and a half percent today some of this was based on export and import prices as well it is being reported today from fortune that tesla is looking to hire 800 new employees as elon says on x both tesla and xai are looking to hire networking engineers and technicians and look at all those wires Holy crap. Lucid claims this morning they have set a new record with their 2025 Lucid Air Pier as the world's most efficient car with five miles per kilowatt hour. They say, quote, the advancements introduced across the Lucid Air lineup for 2025 further cement our leadership position. That's a quote from Peter Rawlinson. And we have a new chart of the United States where EV owners save the most. Let me know what state you are in down below in the comment section. And if you have noticed an actual difference in driving a gas vehicle and an electric vehicle, if you've actually noticed the amount of money you've saved. The exterior construction for Tesla's first Hollywood supercharger that'll include a diner and drive-in theater is getting closer to completion. And you could see there has been some serious progress on this since the last time we seen it. 
And oh boy, is it going to be something spectacular. And Elon Musk has donated $100,000 to support for Butler, Pennsylvania Victims Fund. Elon Musk says the Wall Street Journal's report about him committing to donating $45 million per month to a Trump re-election super PAC is fake news. GM CEO Mary Barra says they will not meet their 1 million EV capacity target by 2025. She says, quote, we're seeing a little bit of a slowdown right now. We won't get to 1 million because the market's not developing but we'll get there. Genesis is launching an exclusive luxury EV platform to quote, close the gap with Tesla. In the options market today, you are seeing some very bullish trades, specifically when I take a look at individual trades. Look at these. In October 18th, for 10 call, worth $145,000. In November 15th, for 10 call, worth $264,000. I mean, those are way out the money and way bullish trades. You have a July 26 to 60 call worth 310,000. You have here a uh, 365 call for November 15th worth $322,000. Um, another 300 call by September 19th worth 788,000. You're definitely starting to see some of those far out the money options they get purchased. These are not by retail investors. These are not retail investors making these trades. These are hedge funds and institutions that are betting. Tesla stock goes way, way, way higher from here. And that's also my expectation. Again, in, in case you're unfamiliar, I think Tesla hits new all-time highs by the end of this year with really just the new models that will be released. That's going to affect um, analyst forecasting for Tesla. Cheaper models means more vehicles sold. Hopefully margins are good, but that's yet to be determined. And actually moving into different demographics of the consumer is the goal there. And then you have the Robo Taxi Day, which I'm like 90% sure we're going to get an expected launch in 2025 of that. And that's what the markets really uh, will take with stride and send Tesla stock to new all-time highs. I originally thought by October, if the event was in August, but I do think you want to give the stock 30 to 60 days after the Robotax event to fully price that in, to fully get that appreciation in Tesla stock. So if it happens in October, I think by the end of this year, post-election, oh my gosh, Tesla stock is off to the races. Just my personal opinion, I'm not a financial advisor, I'm not a financial planner, but that's my thoughts. Now, if you take a look at the interesting flow sentiment today, these just track the interesting orders, the unusual, the sweeps, the block trades. You do have six different trades from big money, totaling about $900,000 with a positive order value of 100%. If you take a look at Tesla's short interest of free float, it is falling a little bit today down to 3.79%. You were at about 3.84%, so really you haven't fallen much in the grand scope of things, but you are starting to see the short interest fall a little bit. You do have a dollar amount that's currently sold short of 26.57 billion and 105.16 million shares that are currently sold short. Today, you have borrowed shares of 1.19 million and return shares of about 760,000. So on net, it looks like about 434,000 shares were borrowed today possibly sold short today we did have some earnings today that largely came in good from your banks bank of america progressive insurance uh, morgan stanley charles schwab pnc state street there was really no disasters here today and after hours you will have interactive brokers jb hunt a e h r a her test systems but the big story is tomorrow morning with asml asml is going to be very important for the semiconductor for the ai trade if they have bad earnings i would expect really all of big tech could get beaten down from it same is true with tsmc earnings thursday pre-market and then netflix earnings can affect those companies as well here on the day today it looks like google trend status falling for the cyber truck down to 55 the model y at 23 the model 3 at 22 the model s at 9 and the model x at 8. Over on stock twits, finally, for the first time in a long time, the sentiment for Tesla today is bullish at 60. Yesterday, it was neutral at 51. So throughout this rally, you just have not seen retail 
bullish on Tesla like at all. Now you have the message volume today that's normal at 50, which is a little bit higher than yesterday's number of 49, and the participation ratio today normal at 54. If you take a look at full self-driving Google Trends activity, it's actually going up a little bit. The past numbers are revising up a little bit as well. Now you're sitting at 17. These numbers are not partial and I expect they'll probably go up to 18 or 19 before the stat is finalized, which is still higher than where you tr used to trend for Google Trends data for full self-driving before this free trial. So you're getting back to something that is a little bit more normal. And don't be surprised if you do see another promotional kind of incentive for full self-driving here soon. And look at how crazy our markets are today. The Russell 2000 is up 2.6%. The NASDAQ is down 0.21%. The S&P is up 0.3%. The Dow is up 1.5%. This is a massive rotation that you are seeing. I think a lot of it is short covering. And we'll talk about that in the next video, why that will be very important to know. Um going ahead for markets and it's also being reported that traders see the odds of a fed rate cut by september at 100 percent global inventory numbers for tesla after falling a little bit yesterday are back on the rise today the model y at about 5400 the model 3 at 4200 the model x at 3100 and the model s at about 2700 and Tesla continues to run about 4,000 different ads with Google. 10-year Treasury yields are falling about 5.5 basis points today, which is actually a new low you have not seen since March of this year. And although Tesla has had a pretty volatile day today at one point hitting a low of about $246 per share, at the time of recording this video, you're back well into the 250s, sitting at about $255 per share, up about 1%. And this was the consolidation period that I was talking about. In fact, you need this to be able to send Tesla to new all-time highs to get that next leg of the rally you're not just going to go straight up and vertical you need to give people time to process information give the stock time to kind of consolidate find where price discovery is and that is happening right now the longer we even if it's volatile just trade sideways the better off that actually is, believe it or not. Because this also means expectations are not just shooting through the roof. When you think about stocks that typically go through massive rallies, those expectations get crazy if it's not a simple short squeeze, right? Simple short squeezes go up and they come back down. But stocks that just go on continuous rallies that don't see much of a consolidation, we can all think of a couple of them, SMCI, NVIDIA perhaps, the expectations get so high, the bar gets raised so high, you have to come through with perfect, perfect numbers. When you see a stock have a big rally, a consolidation phase, it does do a bit to kind of reset expectations a little bit for people to materialize what has happened with the stock. And from even a, another perspective, it's giving more time for people to get in at these higher prices. So more people getting in in the 250s will potentially stabilize the stock on any downside in the 250s, in the 240s, in the 230s. And yes, I'm still a little concerned about a potential correction in our markets, especially when this short covering ends in the Russell, when it ends in the equal weight S&P. We'll talk about this more in the next video, but I do think earnings could bring about a correction for markets. And uh, this consolidation, this holding up Tesla is doing right now, sets Tesla up a little bit better if we do go into a correction. And really, the only thing that matters on a purely technical basis is we stay above this trend line, which is at about $227 per share. You also see this 20 day moving average creeping up quite a bit. Now that's at $220. Um, and over the next couple of days, it will make its way up to that that trend line level and that will also serve as a lot of support if we start to get some downside here now 
Tesla's RSI has reset back to 71.76, so things are not as nearly as overbought as they were before, and I would say there's still quite a bit of room to run even with the RSI at you know 71 which is technically overbought but not as high as 87 in which we had just recently and the macd is still sitting at about 20 signal line at about 17.4 so things look good all around on a technical basis and i think it's only a matter of time before you get a larger rally from here and uh if you're not in tesla and you want to own tesla i think now is still a great value given Tesla stock is, in my opinion, going to new all-time highs by the end of this year. So let me know what you think about this information down below in the comment section. Hit the like button as well as subscribe to the channel if you made it to the end of this video and if you have not done so already. Most importantly, you guys enjoy the rest of your day and I will see you in the next one.